All right, uh, let's look at the homework 4.5, problem number seven. All right, let's sketch the graph of y equals x minus natural log of x. All right, so uh, we're gonna look at the uh, original function. All right, so y. All right, so what will be the domain of uh, this function? All right, so there's no fraction, uh, there's no square root or, uh, you know, uh, uh, even through, uh, but uh, there's natural log of x. Natural log can only take uh, positive real numbers. So we know that the domain of this function, oops, uh, domain of this function is all positive uh, real numbers. All right. Then, uh, then we, we want to find the intercept. Uh, so there's no y-intercept because we cannot plug in x equals 0 because it's not in the domain. But uh, we would be able to um, uh, maybe find the um, uh, y, uh, x-intercept. All right, so set, uh, so x-intercept. All right, so uh, we set uh, uh, y equals 0. So x uh, minus natural log of x uh, is equal to zero. All right. Then uh, we try to see if we can find uh, such a function. So let's say uh, we have um, uh, x here is equal to natural log of x. All right. But uh, I don't think there's a function like that. Uh, if you look at the um, um, x and a natural log of x. Uh, I'm going to actually use uh, GeoGebra to illustrate this. All right, so I'm going to just draw uh, the graph of y equals x. All right, so this is just a straight line. And a y equals natural log of x, all right, and which looks like that. So you can see that the, they never have an intersection. So x is never equal to natural log of x. So you can see that the, there is no uh, x-intercept, right? So we have, uh, so this means that, uh, uh, I guess uh, this is not equal to this. So um, no uh, x-intercept, right? So I guess that uh, that's pretty much uh, we can uh, all we can do. Uh, actually, we can find uh, asymptotes. All right. So vertical as this would have a vertical asymptote. Um, uh, for example, uh, let's see. Uh, we can just uh, look at the when x approaches. So we take the limit of this function uh, x minus natural log of x as x approaches zero. Uh, from the positive side, of course. All right, then you can see that uh, here. Uh, X is going to zero, so this guy is going to uh, zero. But the natural log of X is approaching negative infinity, but the, there's a negative sign in front. This guy actually approaches uh, positive infinity, right? So we have positive infinity. So this tells us that, that we have a vertical asymptote at uh, x equals zero, all right? So we have that. All right, so let's look at the, um, the first derivative now. So number two, let's look at the uh, first derivative, f prime. All right, so you take the derivative of y, uh, y prime is gonna be uh, derivative of x is one, and the derivative of natural log of x is one over x, so it's gonna be one over x, all right? So by taking the common denominator, so you have a x minus one over x, right? Let's set that equal to zero. So you can see that uh, x equals one, right? So this is uh, our critical number, right? And then we can do an increasing decreasing analysis uh, uh, along with the second derivative. So let's find the second derivative, um, three. So second derivative y double prime is going to be equal to y double prime. Derivative one is zero. Uh, derivative of negative one over x would be uh, negative negative positive one over x squared, right? Which is actually always positive, right? So this tells us that the y is always 
uh, concave upward. All right. Then uh, we can just do um, a little bit of number line. So here, combine those pieces of information. All right. So uh, we can start from zero, and then infinity. So that's the um, um, the domain. All right, so uh, a critical number is one, so I'll just put the one here. All right, then we're gonna look at the sign of uh, a y prime and a y double prime. All right, we know that uh, it's always concave up, so uh, y double prime is always positive, so positive here and a positive here. All right, that's uh, easy to tell. All right, here, so let's try. So this is the uh, 1 minus 1 over x is the first derivative. Let's try something uh, between 0 and 1, so like a 1 half. So 1 minus 1 over 1 half is going to be uh, negative, because 1 minus 2. So it's a negative sign here. All right, after 1, let's try 2. two. 1 minus 1 over 2 is going to be 1 half, so it's going to be positive. All right. So we know that, that it's going to be decreasing and increasing and it's concave up. So we, we see that the, the shape of the y uh, original function is decreasing and the concave up here. After that, uh, increasing and the concave up. All right. So let's uh, sketch the picture. So here's the uh, x-axis here. All right. And the y-axis is uh, right here. All right, and it looks like we're going to have a minimum value at 1, so let's try to find that value. I'm just going to find uh, y of 1, which is going to be 1 minus uh, natural log of 1, but uh, natural log of 1 is 0, so we know that uh, it's going to be 1. So it's going to go through 1 comma 1, so here's 1. And uh, here is one, so it's gonna go through there. So I'm gonna just uh, put a dot there. All right, it's gonna go through this point. All right, the shape of the graph is a decreasing and a concave up. So and you have a vertical asymptote there. So you have a vertical asymptote and decreasing and concave up, and I hit the critical number here, and after that, uh, increasing and uh, concave up. So it's going to look like that. All right, so let's see if we can find a graph like that. All right, so I'm going to open up. All right, so not the first one. And the second one looks convincing. And not the third one, not the fourth one. So we know that this is the only reasonable one. So I'm going to check. Uh, submit for testing. All right, I came back. And it looks like we got the uh, graph correctly. Alright, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.